All right, we'll get started with Cam Wynn. First up, Chris Bassnett. Hey, Cam, with the, with the streak you guys have been on in the bullpen as far as scoreless innings and, and things like that, what have you seen that's maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, a common thread among all you guys that's allowed you to go out and compete the way you have these past few weeks? Well, I think the biggest thing for me is that the guys, we all, we all play for each other. Um, everybody knows that we have a role that we have to fill and, you know, go in. The goal is to just not give up a run. Um, you got to help the team. You got to give the chance the best Going to give the team the best chance to win that you possibly can. Um, everybody's ready to go at all times. Um, we know that we have trust in all of our bullpen arms and that we can throw anybody whenever we need to. And so I feel like we have a lot of depth in that regard, and that gives us a lot of options, and it, it's led to some success for us. How do you guys, you know, stay ready? I, that's maybe a, a simple question, but, but what do you do to, you know, stay sharp and, and just be ready to go when, when your number does get called? Well, I've, I've seen incredible focus and intent um, in practice and before the games for our bullpen because, you know, our starters have been doing really well. The, the bullpen innings between so many qualified arms have been few and far between um, at certain times. And so guys are staying ready. They're staying locked in. They're working hard um, even when they're not getting into games. And so, like I said, everyone's just staying ready, staying focused, knowing that they're going to be ready to go when their name is called. Kevin Suits. Hi, Cam. I'm curious what the team's reaction was earlier this week when you guys were placed inside the top 25. Uh, you know, we're all happy, um, but that, that's not our goal. That's that's not our motivation. That's uh, just a byproduct of the hard work we've been putting in. And, you know, the goal at the end of the year is not to make the top 25. The goal is to be a national champion. So we know that this is just a byproduct of our hard work, but we, we got a long ways to go, and we're not going to we're not going to let this affect this at all. We're going to put our head down and keep doing what we've been doing. Evan Bland. Cam, you talk about it, it, it can be hard sometimes maybe for everybody to get the innings that they want on the weekend when everybody's contributing as much as they are. How important are those Tuesday scrimmages that you guys have uh, just for staying sharp and, and, and just what's that like to get in that work in the midweek? Uh, they're very important. Um, traditionally, the midweek games are, you know, it's it's a it's a great time for guys to go in and get innings and the hitters to get live ABs, um, everyone to practice up because, you know, we, we have incredible depth on this team. And so, you know, you, you might have a weekend where you find yourself not playing. And so it's nice to be able to use that Tuesday game to sharpen up and to be able to see that live hitting or that live pitching so you're ready to go when your name is called. Can you think of a couple guys who – you know, in a normal season, maybe they'd be in on those midweeks and people would kind of see what they can do. Who are some guys maybe behind the scenes who are impressing a little bit? Um, like I said, we got a lot of guys um, lately. I've been really impressed with Max Schreiber and Cody Frank, I think. There are a couple guys who in the last couple of weeks um, haven't got a ton of innings um, compared to maybe the beginning of the season. But I know that they've been working hard. They've been pitching well in the midweeks and they're going to be ready when it comes time to pitch again. Chris Bassnett. Can't be in a Lincoln guy. Is, is this year been what, what you expected, what you hoped for when, when you came back here? And, and what have you gotten out of this year just from a personal standpoint? Well, this is, I mean, my experience here at Nebraska this year has been absolutely amazing for me. Um, I don't know what I expected going in just because, you know, I, I've bounced around, been at different places in my um, college baseball years. and. You know, everything's different, so I just kind of came in with an open mind. But, you know, I've been treated incredibly well here, and it's, it's been amazing to be able to play for the hometown team. Um, I love the coaching staff. I love the team. We all play for each other. Very motivated group. Um, and so, yeah, I, I've had a, an amazing time here being able to play. You know, playing with the Nebraska, the end across my chest, means a lot to me being from Lincoln. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Um... Later this afternoon, I'll send out some information regarding parking for Saturday. Thanks, everybody.